Hi guys, I'm at PetSmart and I've came to PetSmart to look for stuff for my hermit crabs. I did I was not planning on buying any hermit crabs today. But I saw the hermit crabs here and I'm in love. I really they're so adorable and I've never seen any hermit crab like this at a pet store. Here let me show you. This is my pet smart setup and I'm gonna show you the three hermit crabs that I really want. It's these little guys. And when I mean little I mean little. These guys are smaller than my thumb. These are the tiniest hermit crabs I've ever seen in my whole entire life. At you all. have to go to the sea. The other one I want is coming out of his shell. Oh my god, look at his mouth. And he's pretty healthy. I mean, his color is. But these guys are not a good color, and I'm kind of scared to buy them because I'm afraid they'll die right away, but because their colors are pretty bad. And here's the other one I want. Pretty pale. And still smaller than my thumb. These are tiny hermit crabs. Tiny. I've never seen hermit crabs so tiny in my whole entire life. And they have, those are like pretty small and I really want them but I'm not sure if they're gonna give me the same price of eight dollars I mean seven dollars they shouldn't really have that price of uh, too much for tiny hammer crabs so I'll see if they can give me a discount or something but I just don't want them to die right away as well so I think I'm gonna buy them <laughs> this one's on top of my leg <laughs> He's like looking she. at you. Okay. Oh, she, okay. <laughs> Sorry, little girl. <laughs> little girl. I'm playing with my hair. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my god, there's one behind me. That's Cypher. <laughs> oh my god, these are so playful. Oh my god, it's called Daddy. <laughs> He's like chewing on your hair. <laughs> We just left PetSmart and we got the hermit crabs, but as you can see, we got uh, we also got to see some cats, some little kitties, and I um, entered a, a video of that. I'm not sure if I will, but if you saw cats, that's what we were doing also, and I'm going to show you the hermit crabs right now. So I got three hermit crabs, and they are tiny. I can't wait to show you the comparison of the other hermit crabs. I mean, these, this one is, oh wait, this one and this one are the tiniest. That one's the smallest. They are smaller than the size of my thumb, I'm not kidding. And they're all pretty active, so I guess that's a good sign. And I'll show you when I get home. So we are warping over to my house and I put them in the bath. So they're taking a little bath before they go into the big tank just to make sure they're clean from any uh, bugs or anything that the pet store might give to them. And I'm just looking at them and making sure they look pretty healthy. Their colors aren't that great. I'm just hoping that, it will, that the, uh, their colors will be better. but. This crab right here, oh no, keeps on crawling on top. These two guys pretty much have good color, but this one's pretty much pale, but he's really active, so that's good, I guess. And I'm gonna go look for some shells that fit them in my handy dandy shell bag. And right now I'm going to add a little bit of stress coat. So I just added a little bit of stress coat and I think I might add a little bit more water since it's not even that high and I really want to clean them before I put them into my tank. I don't want to introduce any new bacteria or anything or bugs in my tank. And I still need to uh, tell if they're a girl or a boy. I'll do that right now. I just um, gendered them and this one is a boy, this one is a boy, and that one is a girl. 
I'll make a video on how you tell a third girl a boy. It's pretty easy. You just need to have an active hermit crab that comes out of his shell, kind of. And this one keeps on crawling on top of his shell. At the pet store, they were like really inactive. I was afraid that they were just gonna hide all the way along, but they're actually really active, and I did not know that. So I'm really happy that they didn't. Um, they're not so shy, and they're not really scared of me. Not that much. This is the little girl. And as always, I named my uh, animals, pretty much all my pets, after movie characters. So I have to figure out their personality and see which movie character I should name them after. All right, I think you're good enough to put them in the tank now. All right, we just put all three of them in. There's one. There's the other one that loves going on top of other hermit crab shells. <laughs> and where's the other one? Oh, right there. It's gonna be super hard to find them now. There's one hermit crab right there. Oh, it's hard to see with all the moisture. That's Valcor. They're gonna have a really fun time exploring their new home. And if you're concerned about if I don't have any size shells for them, I do. I have plenty of shells for them. This is not even a lot. I just I'm still choosing which shells to give them in this bag. As you can see, I have plenty of shells that would fit them. I'll offer this though. So I'm going to put those shells in there too. Big hermit crabs are going to have to be careful because this is what's going to happen from now on. <laughs> oh, the other hermit crabs are going to crawl into the other hermit crabs. All right, as you can see, we added a ton of shells for them to choose from, and I think we're going to have to add another. Le I didn't get to finish my sentence, but as I was saying, I am going to build a second level for shells, like a little mini shell shop that they have to crawl up onto, and so they can choose what shell they want, but it's just going to be a level just for shells. I think I'm doing that, but I have to figure out an idea, and I just have to think up some ideas and what to do, because there's lots of things to make more space, so I have more room to build another level, but I'm not sure what I'm going to do, but all the shells on the bottom floor are taking up space, and they really don't have enough room to just crawl around without shells being in their way. So I'm going to think of something that is uh, gonna help me and if you guys can comment down below what I can do like I'm probably just gonna make uh, another level and put shells on top and just look at, like a little basket and I can put shells in there but yeah that was pretty much the whole video and I gave you guys a little teensy witsy vlog and I really was nervous to do that because there's people walking around but you know I just I just forgot about them and did that video so thank you guys so much for watching please like comment and subscribe and if you guys want me to change up anything in the comments down below tell me because I am very flexible for change as I said in my last video and if you guys want me to change what I'm doing then go ahead speak your mind the comments are free for you to speak in the com alright guys thanks so much for watching and see you guys later in another video bye